Well, now that Spider-Verse Part 1 got pushed back the summer of 2023, and I already saw The Batman, so this was the last film of 2022 that I was actually excited for. So did it meet my expectations? For the most part, yeah. Bad Guys is DreamWorks Animation, newest film based on the book series written by Aaron Blaby. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. The film is the directorial debut of Pierre Pierrefell, also sorry for the pronunciation, who directed the DreamWorks short Bilby. Well, I have never read the books personally, my younger brother has and he really likes them and that's about as much as I know of the series. But as I said in the beginning, I was actually really excited for this movie once the first trailer dropped. With the beautiful animation style and some of the jokes I thought to myself, I hope this film does good. And I hope it is good. I can't take any more disappointment. Luckily, The Bad Guys is a really good film. This film reminds me of Hatching a Dragon, with both films having a pretty conventional and predictable plot, but the execution of set stories where each film really shines through. To say the animation is beautiful and very stylish is very obvious. In other news, the world is also round, which I know is a shock to some individuals. The animation continues this new tradition that I'm really digging in animated movies, which is combining 2D and 3D animation together. You can tell that Spider-Verse definitely inspired this animation style, and I think also the animation style of Captain Underpants also helped with that as well. The animation results in some nice quick expressions and poses, which I think aids the comedy, even when the jokes don't always land. The action scenes are also really nice and fun to watch. I especially love the car chase at the beginning of the movie, and the car just reminds me of the Batmobile in The Batman. To touch up more on the comedy aspect, I feel that kids will enjoy all of it while adults may not. This movie has some funny moments, but even the moments that made me laugh didn't have me rolling on the floor. I can also say that while the humor that didn't land with me wasn't too painful, with the exception of one reoccurring joke involving farts, but I digress. Honestly, the most shocking part of this film for me was the quieter moments between characters. My favorite scene in particular is when Wolf rescues the kitten from the tree. I like the little detail when Wolf catches the kitten after it falls out of the tree, he puts it back to allow it to come to him on its own free will instead of him just holding it and then taking it down. All throughout the film, there are these nice moments between characters with dialogue that feel really natural and make the relationship between the bad guys much more believable. This is really apparent with the relationship between Wolf and Snake. I really like the characters, animation, and overall tone of this movie, which just drips with cool. I highly recommend that you check this film out, even if you haven't read the books, because good movies like this deserve the attention instead of films like Minions 2 or Uncharted. I think DreamWorks is starting to hit their stride again after taking a bit of a nosedive in recent years, which is good. Even the trend of trying new animation styles seems to be present in the new Puss in Boots 2 movie, which will be coming out this fall. DreamWorks is also 3 for 3 in their book adaptations, so maybe they should continue to do that so long that they pick directors that are passionate about filmmaking and the source material they are translating it from. Well, I'm so glad that a fairly wholesome and great movie hasn't stirred up any kind of controversy or anything. There is a work that must be done, and I am God's chosen vessel to carry out this work. It's furry hunting season. <laughs>